Hey, Hope. Do you really think that was a chocobo? Why do you ask? It might be a subspecies, but it certainly looked like a chocobo to me. Right, to me too. But the thing is, when I first saw it, I felt this weird familiarity. You felt familiar with a chocobo? Maybe you just need a friend, Light. Hey, I know what I felt. I'll follow the doc back to Canopus Farms.
light of your soul is mine. <laughs> Expected as much?
Chocobo. Do you want to leave without seeing how it's doing? You can beat me? Let's make a show of it.
feel like dying. What's your most valuable treasure? is coming. What shall I do? What shall I do? Having some trouble? Trouble? I'd say. Some of my flock has fled. They've never done this before. What set them off? And of all the times for it to happen, a disaster, I say. Let me get this straight. It's my fault your sheep ran off, and so it's my job to bring them back? Well, I realize you meant no harm, of course, but yes, if you're volunteering, please bring my sheep back. What do they look like? Three in total, and you'll know them when you see them. They were raised on my own patented formula and grow much larger than normal sheep. It will be a simple matter to give them a scare and drive them back home where they belong. Do this for me and I will be most grateful, and I will offer you a special reward as thanks. I'll look forward to it. You should, because it will be in the form of my world-famous fuzzy sheep milk. 
It's no ordinary milk, let me tell you. Packed with nutrients, creamy and delightful it is. And with three sheep, there'll be a lot of it. Oh, where is my lost sheep? Oh, there she is. Look, over there. To drive the sheep home, just give them a little scare. My sheep is found. They're timid creatures. One look at your weapon will be enough. Selection. We use only the finest pelts to create our equipment. You're doing well. Have you tried our sheep dishes? They're great. I swear on my life. Have you tried our sheep dishes? They're great. You'll leave with a smile. Now, where is the other? Aha! There she is! To drive the sheep home, just give them a little scare. Oh, where is my lost sheep? Oh, there she is. Look, over there. If they stray from the correct path, just scare them again. Our items make... If anything catches your eye, pick it up and give it a try.
your eyes. I'll be quick. <sighs>
Hey, Hope. Do you really think that was a chocobo? Why do you ask? It might be a subspecies, but it certainly looked like a chocobo to me. Right, to me too. But the thing is, when I first saw it, I felt this weird familiarity. You felt familiar with a chocobo? Maybe you just need a friend, Light. Hey, I know what I felt. I'll follow the dock back to Canopus Farms. you with something today. Safe travels. Hey there. Can I help you with something today? Safe travels. Hey there. Can I help you with something today? Help you with something today. You're gonna be straying off the main path. I am just. Hi. What do you need today? Come back again soon. You're gonna be straying off the main path. I have just what you need to keep you. Have any potions?
Easy there. I'm not going to let you die. You hear me? I'm sorry. Dr. Ghazal's in surgery right now and can't be disturbed. You'll have to wait Give here. Me some fresh water. Uh, yeah. Okay, good, good. As I stood there, watching the doctor try to save the Chocobo's life, I knew this was no ordinary animal. Not only because of the legend, I felt a connection, as if we'd fought together. There. There, that's it. Uh, but why? It made no sense. You can come see for yourself. Light, what about the Chocobo? Do you want to leave without seeing how it's doing? Is he all right? His wounds are cleaned and dressed, but he's still dying. Can't you help? Listen to me. He's half-starved. If he is to recover, he needs nutrients, vitamins, protein. But no matter what we do, we can't make him eat. Is he that weak? It's not a question of being weak. He's too proud. That's the problem. We've tried everything to coax him, but he simply won't accept any food from humans. And the fool beast just glares at us. That pride will kill him. Such a stubborn bird can be none other than the Angel of Valhalla. The only human the Angel will bow to is the one he recognizes as Master. Perhaps he will obey you. Try it. Offer him this. Light, it might be the Chocobo's only hope. Try giving him that vegetable. Try it. Offer him this. Light. It might be the Chocobo's only hope. Try giving him that vegetable. Easy there. I'm not going to let you... What are you waiting for? Feed him. Light. It might be the Chocobo's only hope. Try giving him that vegetable. What are you waiting for? Feed him! Light! It might be the Chocobo's only hope. Try giving him that vegetable. Try giving that vegetable to the Chocobo. I'd bet he'd eat it if it came from you. Is this all right? Well, it looks like he recognizes you as his master. As long as we keep providing him with feed, he should recover. I say we, but of course I mean you. He will not accept help from anyone else. He has to be your responsibility and yours alone. If I do it, will he recover? I would bet my reputation on it. This is the bird of legend. You're destined to ride him to the fountainhead of the chaos. But before you can do that, the bird needs to be fed. So you said. Any hints? What kind of food should I give him? I prescribe a balanced diet of Ghazal greens quality sheep's milk, and nutritional supplements. Ask the villagers if they have any greens or milk to spare. Thanks 
to the doctor, the Chocobo is out of immediate danger. But he needs more treatment before he's fully recovered. So now I have to play nurse to a giant bird. I'm telling you, it better be worth the trouble. He'll become your steed. And not only that, if the legends are true, he'll be able to guide you to the temple of the goddess and the source of the great chaos. We'll see. He'd better be useful. I was never one for keeping pets. Somehow, that doesn't surprise me. So, what are you going to do next? Hello. Have you taken the time to speak to the villagers? The villagers? Oh, right. They've been waiting for the Chocobo to answer their prayers. And now he's here to do that. With the Savior's help. Answer their prayers? Where do you hear that? Ah, uh, don't tell me. You've been talking to Garrett, haven't you? It's true, he's a founder of the village. But a more indiscreet man I've never known. The fact is, we've all got our own scars. A man who wanders the world searching for a wife who everyone knows is dead. A man who still yearns for his life in the city. Folk who suffer anguish they cannot name. Garrett's taken it on himself to look after everyone and try to solve all their problems. But if you ask me, the burden he bears is too much for one man. He seemed cheerful enough. Was that an act? He's the last survivor of the intrepid band that founded this village. To him, we're all part of his family, and he's devoted his life to trying to keep Canopus Farms together. It's not an easy road he's chosen, and there have been plenty of sad times. But why am I burdening you with our tales of woe? I don't want you thinking you're responsible for having to save Garrett and the rest. You've done plenty for us just by finding the White Chocobo. People here are more hopeful than I've seen in many a year. I reckon you've saved a soul or two. But even if nothing has really changed, you mustn't think our woes are your responsibility. It's all coming true. The legends, the stories, everything that the voice told me. You heard the girl too, didn't you? Oh yes. A hundred years ago it was. Ah, oh, but I was younger then. I nursed a foolish hope that I would be the man who found and caught the white chocobo. So I took my only daughter and set out into the wildlands. There we would search for the angel together. We found it too. I saw it with my very own eyes. I was captivated. My name would go down in history. In that moment, I cared for nothing but my triumph. And when my daughter lost her footing on the cliff, I was too slow to react. I'm sorry. She fell into a chasm of chaos, and I could do nothing. But that's when I heard the voice. A young girl, her words ringing loud and clear inside my head. I've never forgotten them. Follow your destiny. The sacred white bird must come again. Help the one. Help the one chosen by the angel. Are you sure it wasn't your daughter's voice that you heard? No, it was a voice I did not know. But I've come to believe that in some strange way, the message came from my daughter. That it was her last wish. She had to die. So that I might know my destiny. As you see, Chosen One, I'm here to fulfill your destiny and my own. All right, then. You can help me get into that temple. I'm sorry. Oh, did that hurt?
could knock me down with a feather. Who'd have thought a stranger would get one over on the doctor and capture the white chocobo first? Get one over? You have a problem with it? No, don't get me wrong. It's just that the doctor has been doing nothing but hunt that chocobo for over a century. One hundred years. And I came along and snatched his prize away. I made him look incompetent at best. Yeah, but look, the chocobo's here. That's the important thing. And still alive, thanks to you. Everyone in this village wants to see that chocobo get better, not just the doctor. I'm pretty much in charge of this village, so if you need any help at all, you just come and talk to me. Sound good? How are things? We grow gazal greens right here in the village. There's a man and his daughter who have their own field. Cole and Sarala are their names. Maybe they have some to share. I haven't seen Cole in a while. He often wanders out of the village on his own and doesn't return for days. Don't you worry. That chocobo is in the safest of hands, and he's bound to recover. When it comes to chocobo vets, Dr. Gazal is in a class of his own. Once he's back to full health, you'll be able to ride the chocobo across the breadth of the wildlands. It's his destiny, as the one and only sacred chocobo in all the world. It hasn't really begun to sink in yet. Imagine, here I am, ready to help you nurse the Angel of Valhalla back to health. It hasn't really begun to sink in yet. Imagine, here I am, ready to help you nurse the Angel of Valhalla back to health. See something? I don't mind confessing that it's a terrifying responsibility. I mean, what if we get something wrong? Are you enjoying village life? We grow gazal greens right here in the village. There's a man and his daughter who have their own field. Cole and Sarala are their names. Maybe they have some to share. She tries to hide it, but his daughter Sarala worries a lot whenever he's away. Hmm, you don't look well. It's all coming true. The legends, the stories, everything that the voice told me. You heard the girl too, didn't you? Oh yes. A hundred years ago it was. Ah, but I was younger then. I nursed a foolish hope that I would be the man who found and caught the white chocobo. So I took my only daughter and set out into the wildlands. There we would search for the angel together. We found it too. I saw it with my very own eyes. I was captivated. My name would go down in history. In that moment, I cared for nothing but my triumph. And when my daughter lost her footing on the cliff, I was too slow to react. I'm sorry. She fell into a chasm of chaos, and I could do nothing. But that's when I heard the voice. A young girl, her words ringing loud and clear inside my head. I've never forgotten them. Follow your destiny. The sacred white bird must come again. Help the one. Help the one chosen by the angel. Are you sure it wasn't your daughter's voice that you heard? No, it was a voice I did not know. But I've come to believe that, in some strange way, the message came from my daughter. That it was her last wish. She had to die, so that I might know my destiny. As you see, Chosen One, I'm here to fulfill your destiny and my own. All right then. You can help me get into that temple. It's all coming true. You heard the- Oh yes. 
Yeah, but I was so I took my own. We found it too. In that moment, I. I'm sorry. But that's when I heard the voice. Follow. Are you sure it wasn't your daughter? No. But I've come to. She had to, as you see, chosen one. All right then. around and see if people have gazal greens or milk to spare. People here are so kind. In this village, everyone is always willing to pitch in and help a neighbor. I don't mind confessing that it's a terrifying responsibility. I mean, what if we get something wrong? Hey, we grow gazal greens right here in the village. There's a man and his daughter who have their own field. Cole and Sarala are their names. Maybe they have some to share. I haven't seen Cole in a while. He often wanders out of the village on his own and doesn't return for days. See something? Cole, the vegetables they grow make perfect fodder for the chocobos. People here are so kind. In this village, everyone is always willing to pitch in and help a neighbor. Ask around and see if people have gazal greens or milk to spare. Everyone's been asking after the chocobo. The innkeeper, Sorala, and her field. Even that man who fetched Dr. Gazal. They're so worried about him. The whole village wants to help him get better. Hey, we grow gazal greens right here in the village. There's a man and his daughter who have their own field. Cole and Sarala are their names. Maybe they have some to share. I haven't seen Cole in a while. He often wanders out of the village on his own and doesn't return for days. Hey, we grow gazal. There's a man and his daughter. I haven't seen... You should feed that white chocobo of yours with some gazal greens. Normally we have a full crop, but with Father Away I have no fertilizer to grow more. That's the last one, but you can have it. I'm sure we'll be able to grow more greens when Father comes back. He went off to look for fertilizer days and days ago, and well, that was the last I saw of him. The innkeeper, Sorala, and her field, even that man who fetched Dr. Gazal. They're so worried about him. The whole village wants to help him get better.
I heard that the White-Winged Herald has appeared in these lands, and so I came as quickly as I could. If that chocobo is truly the Angel of Legend, it will guide the Chosen One to the very gates of the temple. I know what he's really doing. He's looking for Mother, just like he always does. He knows that she can't be alive after all this time, but still he keeps searching. Hey there! Can I help you with something today? Can I help you with something today? Safe travels! The vegetables they grow make perfect fodder for the chocobos. Hey, how's that bird doing? Of course, I speak of the white chocobo that you're caring for. Perhaps you would like to feed him some of this fortifying milk. The truth is, one of my regulars wanted it, but I just can't stand by seeing that poor creature suffer. You take it. Visit any time. Don't forget, that milk I gave you was for the chocobo, not for you. Come again. Everyone's been asking after the chocobo. The innkeeper, Sorala, and her field, even that man who fetched Dr. Gazal. They're so worried about him. The whole village wants to help him get better. As long as Cole is gone. How are things? We grow Gazal greens right here in the village. There's a man and his daughter who have their own field. Cole and Sarala are their names. Maybe they have some to share. I haven't seen Cole in a while. He often wanders out of the village on his own and doesn't return for days. I'm sure we'll be able to grow more greens when Father comes back. He went off to look for fertilizer days and days ago and, well, that was the last I saw of him. Village, everyone is always willing to pitch in and help a neighbor. Everyone's been asking after the chocobo. The innkeeper, Sorala, and her field, even that man who fetched Dr. Gazal. They're so worried about him. The whole village wants to help him get better. Of course I know what he's really doing. He's looking for Mother, just like he always does. 
He knows that she can't be alive after all this time, but still he keeps searching. I'm sure we'll be able to grow more greens when Father comes back. He went off to look for fertilizer days and days ago, and well, that was the last I saw of him. Everyone's been asking after the trip. They're so worried. Once, but they're so worth I heard that the white-winged herald has appeared in these lands and so I came as quickly as I could if that chocobo is truly the angel of legend it will guide the chosen one to the very gates of the temple Chocobo needs vitamins and nutrients. My stock is empty, but someone must have supplements. People here are so... Everyone's been asking, they're so worried. It's the only white specimen I've seen, but it's a chocobo. Of that I have no doubt. It should eat the same things. People here are... Hmm, you don't look well. I'm sorry. Drink this. of fuss buckets, aren't they? The villagers, I mean. Everyone's been very kind and helpful. Well, you have to be out here in the wildlands. No one who tries going it alone survives very long. Just remember, if someone scratches your back, they'll expect some back scratching in return. Should eat. It's a unique specimen, without a doubt. But it needs to eat what other chocobos eat. Even a legend can't live on air and admiration. Did you try offering him food again? Is he still refusing you? Yes, we've tried. But he kicks up a fuss loud enough to scare the sheep in Arius. It's you or nobody. I guess I'm stuck with him. Did that hurt? Thank you. 